Hi, this video is about Ionos Web Builder together with AI. So, without further ado, let's get started. Sign in. To get Ionos Web Builder and AI, you have to go to website and stores. So, you realize that I have already some websites created here. So, we're going to create a new website. Then, in this case, you're going to select create new website. Now, when you look at this, there are about three options. On top here, you see Web Builder. There's also WordPress and more. Then you also have web hosting and more. So for this case, I we're going to focus on web builder. And under it, we also have three options. There's starter, there's plus, there's pro. But uh, let's take this as it's the most popular one. However, if your budget is not very big, you could actually take starter. For this case, we're going to take plus. And inside here, there are two options. There's without store and with store. Let's take one without store. In the next video, we'll also make without with store. So when you come to this part, you can also see that there are options here, website now plus, you see it comes with all these packages here, but also when you look at up here, this for one month, it's going to be free, but then after one month, it's going to be $22 per month. So you need to be considering that before you start choosing this. Then you also come down here, you find there are some other features that are predict here. If you uncheck them, you should be able to remove them from your package but if you allow you should be considered of the amount of money you can see this is 30 dollars for maps the email marketing is 15 and there's six dollars six dollars for mail business so what you what i'm going to do i'm going to uncheck all this because i don't have that budget at the moment so after that you make sure that you accept the terms and conditions then you say order now so what you must know is this after one month you're going to be billed however you have a chance to cancel it before that saturdays elapse so for this tutorial i'm going to be showing you everything but i need to be telling you everything in a more honest way now you can see here there are things here you can be able to see you're going to make a payment either with a credit card or you can also be able to use paypal so let me use paypal so i'm going to uh they're going to charge me one dollar for this tutorial so let me continue for this Now you can see i've already uh, added the payment and they have chopped the initial money for using paypal so now you can see they're building up my website uh, they're actually working on the website builder in the background so this you have to wait for a short time before this is completed if this is your first time watching videos in this channel please uh, consider subscribing uh, if you've been be here before welcome back and don't forget to like share and comment in this video so now you see the order is complete so i'm going to say i'm going to click go to the new product now this is where we've reached this is the website builder there's templates but there also there's also ai so maybe before i come to ai let me first show you on the part of the templates as you can see they are they are very nice cool templates here if you decide to choose one you can be able to choose one of these then you'll be able to customize it depends on what you might like for this tutorial i'm going to purely focus on the ai builder and it's actually almost the same because even ai is just going to generate a template which is uh, customized based on the instructions you're going to put for this case they already built based on what they they thought it was better now let's go to the ai so i'm going to click next then you're going to describe your business and also the business category for this case i'm going to call it bentech then the category i'm going to let me go to chat gpt briefly so i've generated my text from chat gpt the key terms that i need so i'm just going to copy this one by one for example this one i'm going to bring it here i've already put some so let me just finish all of them and finally there's this one So now, yes, you finished. When you finished, put the business name. You're just going to click next. Are you going to describe your business in a few words? So this is where I'm going to tell ChatGPT. I'm just going to cut this, take a screenshot, and pick this like this. Then I tell ChatGPT generate for me the description. Since we are using AI Builder, everything must be coming from AI. So we don't need to hustle a lot or struggle. Um, so now this is the the description ChatGPT has given me. So I'm going to copy this and put it here i don't know whether it's okay but this wasn't right anyway let me just put it there 
and when you see there's also options you're selecting either you want professional website playful inspiration or persuasive since it's a business so i'm interested in something which is persuasive and going to next so whatever you're going to select it's just going to basically be you you also come to here you also come to the section you're going to see the fonts so you can see there are fonts there's modern playful and decorative and you can also be able to see here and uh, for this case um let me take decorative i'm going to say, say next then you also have be able to customize the colors as you can see this is the first colors there is green and there is orange so what are you going to choose maybe for this case i love green but i also love blue because i'm a tech so let me take blue for this case i'm going to next now you can see this section here so you're going to put in your contact details they are all optional if you wish you can put them okay let me first put for now i'm just going to say info we also have the email sorry ah just interchange supposed to be the phone two five six seven eight okay then we also have the email and address so i'm going to put in a few things they're all optional whatever you're going to put in it's just okay now go to next so you're going to give uh, ai to work on the templates for you based on what instructions you've given it you can see already my templates have been built you may not be comfortable with the first one all you have to do is click on this arrow and be able to see the next one now you can see this in case you want a full preview you're also able to see it fully like this and you go through it and see if it's very cool it's also some stock here this comes for with it i hope it's if it is very fine with you you can be able to use it or if it's not very good you'll be able to change so you're going to pass through all of them until you choose the best one i'm not going to scroll everything i'm just going to pick one and take it for learning purposes i think let me take this and we start with this so i'm going to click edit this one This one thing i did not tell you previously that uh, before you will reach this level it also had options of you checking through like in the responsive tab for example this uh, phone tablet and desktop all these parts of this you're able to see it's responsive that's a cool feature which i love it because there are going to be different people using your website so for that case let me close the preview but that is how you can be able to do the preview before you're able to publish your website but if you look at this now it's perfectly fine i really love it but before we about to start the editing let me show you on the left hand pane you see there are some features here there's content as you can see this is all content there's also a design here where you're able to play around with the colors font shapes and spacing and hypertension all these things if you look at them you're able to play around with them so if you come down here you're going to get pages and these are all the pages we created okay that came with the template but in case you want to add another page you're able to come here and be able to give the name and click for example let me put like uh, maybe store as simple as this then you add so you see our store is now here you're able to play around with some few things you can describe with ai and be able to work on your seo so um when you finish that there's also store here and in the store you need to upgrade this is going to be charged at some cost which we are not ready at the moment so that's another section so um you come down you can also give a feedback but there are also other settings here that you can be able to play with for example you can put in the logo so that you're able to um, make customize it let me put this logo here then you also have to preview you can be able to see how your site maybe will look like the icon so there's also privacy settings where you're able to put in a few things the banner um lego notice everything here you put contents this i'm not going to take or show you everything step by step but i'm just going to give you an overview then at your free time you can go through each one of them maybe you've not yet bought it so you're interested to see before that's why i'm giving you this as an overview so business details you're going to fill in whatever you want uh, so you're going to put the logo for your business whatever it is so i can upload and bring it from down here bentech and once it's i'm okay with it i'm going to apply 
I can see put in the details some of this information already came in when you filled your website in the beginning so you fill in everything then you click and you save now you come here you're able to put the custom head code so you can be able to put your code here maybe whatever functionality you want on the head or even adsense or other things you're able to put your code here including javascript so there's also web translator here that you can be able to play with you can select where you want it to be and all these features these are all the languages that you're able to select from here so if even other things there are very many so give your time and explore most of them i'm just giving you an overview so that is about settings so let's go back to content so we're going to learn a drag and drop step by step so first of all in the top header here as you can see there are options there is settings up here this will bring us directly for example you can be able to hide the logo if you wish but also the description you can be able to put the description here if you want it you just click on this eye and it hides or it shows this navigation menu if you don't want to see it you can turn it off then social media they are here it was initially off but you can be able to turn them on so now that is how that part is and you can be able to change the designs if you want this to be red or, or whatever color you want you can click and make the change to what you like then image or you can use an image if you want using an image you can be able to use an image as your background but for this case i don't need to use image or just want nothing to be in the background so that is basically what you do in that section there's also dark if you want to the level of the darkness you can just keep adjusting until you are very comfortable if it is light whatever the case may be so all these shapes you'll be able to understand is a section you should be able to see what is best for you now um since i've already seen about the header let me take you to another thing um under this header section i already showed you the header options but there are also other things if you want to make specific changes on specific items for example like ai okay let me start with navigation here there is manage there is style so you can click manage and you'll be able to come down here you can click custom and be able to change if you have another item to change in there so in case you made an error you can be able to come up here and do undo and redo whatever for example i'd made some error I'd removed and i had only set home but i had to undo to bring it back here now i can be able to make styling of this and be able to come here can change the color uh, for example maybe it's a theme then i just be able to change that color of the text itself not the background or i can put it to blue just something like that size you'll be able to play the, all these things you just have to explore them at your free time then you can be able to add a section if you wish wherever you want to put in in the header here for example you can be able to pick anything maybe the text article about about section but for this case i'm not interested in adding something in there so i'm going to cancel this and let the header just be like that so um there's also a footer option this is a footer but in the middle here is where your real section or the blog is so the home page is going to be this so i'm going to add this then you're able to pick for example what do you want to put in your in your front page this is the header this is the footer so what do you want do you want gallery there are all options here you want booking all this is here so whatever you want maybe article or this so let me just pick maybe article i put it here then when you put this i can be able to um do a, some preview when i put done and try to make a preview so you see this is what i put in here when i close the preview i'm able to adjust a few things whatever i want what you do just double click on what you want to make a change so whatever you want to make a change you double click if this image just double click and you'll be able to crop the image or you want to replace you put something different in that section and you do what apply all this is very easy as simple as that now what else do i need to show you after that um i think i've explored most of the things 
if you want to add another one just keep adding section a grid you just come and pick your section and put a grid here and to whatever you want to make a change you just double click on it and you're good to go so this is basically how our website is it's simple but i don't know i will at the end of this video i will tell you whether it's worth it or there are other better options so that is how this works now let me show you another thing how you can be able to connect your already existing domain in ionos web hosting or you can also get a different one but for this video let me just show you with the current existing domain so before i show you how to add your own domain what i do i first have to click publish then you can see it's now publishing and what shows here congratulations your website is almost online so let's wait for a little bit or in the process you can be able to click here but for this case let me wait it to complete the publish now you can see it's already published now you can be able to connect your domain you see it's not connected at the moment if you want to access it you just have to click on this link and you see this is the website we have built um it comes with these default things but you can be able to make the customizations but if you want to connect a domain that you already have you just click on get your own domain now once this is done like this you're going to click more details so now you can see um when it reaches this section you see this is the website itself you have option to get your own but for this case you're just going to click this the gear icon here then you click on connect a domain now you see there are two options here there is order domain then they select a domain you're just going to click select now one thing that you must note is with the ionos web builder it's not able to select a subdomain so you must be having the main domain that is going to be selected so i'm going to click audiovibe.com see it's already connected so now this are uh, connected and you should be able to view it so that is basically what we do and if you visit that website it's going to be perfect as you can see here it's bentec and it's connected to audio vibe so i can be able to open my website so thank you very much for watching in case you want something specific other than this please leave it in the comment section and by the way you can check in the link for you to be able to get um a discounted price and you get ionos in one dollar for a full year and you'll be paying one actually you'll be paying one dollar per month for a full year which goes for to something like something like twelve dollars or thirteen but before i conclude this video there's one thing i must let you know and be very honest that what much as you see the initial prices to be very low ionos charges some good amounts for for the renewed hosting maybe i first have to show you and you should be able to be consider that in mind before you're able to take ionos as your web hosting thank you very much for watching this video bye